Hello folks, uh, this question also belongs to, uh, let me write here, uh, 2020, 2020 uh, February March session, paper 1-2 and the question number is 16. The question is concerned with the chapter uh, work energy and power. It says that a sledge of a mass of 50 kg, so it is M, sits on a snowy surface. It is pulled horizontally for 10 meters against a frictional force of 20 newtons. So, the frictional force and this is F, F, of 20 newton. Then it is pulled horizontally across ice for 10 meters, 10 meters. So we have two 10 meters here. Uh, in snow 10 meter and uh, uh, across ice 10 meter there is uh, no friction between the ice and the sledge so on ice no no friction it is lifted up vertically by 1 meter so there are 3 stages here and finally carried back at a constant speed to where it started so 4 stages 4 steps so first it has to go from uh, go, go across the snow for 10 meters so it is across the snow snow for 10 meters 10 meters then it has to go across ice so ice uh, for 10 meters 10 meters then is lifted up up uh, 1 meter so my 1 meter is uh, uh, seeming to be larger than 10 meters anyway so it is 1 meter up and from here we have to carry it here carry it here at uniform velocity so this is 1 meter and this will be 20 meters Meters. So let's calculate the work on each case. So now what you assume is, uh, uh, since it is nothing, nothing has been said here. We, can, we have to assume that the pulling, uh, the pulling of this body against frictional force of the newton, and uh, this also are occurring at uh, uniform velocities. So the amount of work required here is uh, work is equal to frictional force into this displacement, equal to frictional force is equal to two hundred. 200 uh, uh, 200 uh, newton mm, 200 newton newton uh, yeah 200 newton uh, into this s is 10 so it's equal to 2000 joules so working across the snow then across ice we have got work is equal to since there is no friction so it is 0 into s equal to 0 then we have to lift it by 1 meter so it will be equal to the work here is equal to m into g into h that's equal to m is 50 uh, g is a 9.8 and h is 1 so it is equal to equal to let me do calculations here so it is 50 into 9.8 into 1 that's equal to 490 joules 490 joules then we have to carry it back uh, to the same initial uh, uh, point where it started uh, with a constant speed so that means the work here will be equal to uh, force into force into the displacement and the force is here mg cos theta let us say uh, force equal to m uh, mg of course uh, s is uh, 20 meters 20 meters and the value of cos theta here is the only force here is gravity the only force here is gravity and uh, across uh, with um, and uh, uh, compare comparing gravity with this direction the angle is equal to equal to 90 degrees so it is cos 90 and cos 90 is equal to 0 so the work required here is 0 so we have four works one is 2000 joules one is 0 one is uh, 490 and another is again 0 so the highest amount of work is done when the body is being slid across across the snow snow because of the friction of the snow so 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 the correct choice becomes becomes choice number d so across snow across ice work zero lifted up work 490 uh carried back a constant speed it is a zero so the only correct one is being pulled 10 meter across the snow